Welcome back to the Traders Network Show, broadcasting worldwide from Greenwich, Connecticut. I'm Matt Bird. We're here at a continued coverage of the Greenwich Economic Forum, and my next guest needs a very little introduction on the local and state political scene. He is the six-term mayor, first select, of Greenwich, Peter Tessie. Peter, welcome to the show. Pleasure. Thank you. Six Thank you. terms. That's, that's 12 years uh, as, as the mayor and first select, uh, running economic development and, and, and overseeing the growth of the community and, and contributing to the state's economic development. Yesterday, you and the governor were on a, a polarizing panel, a discussion on economic development, and there was a number of thought leaders afterwards. What are some of the big takeaways from yesterday? Well, I think that we have a very vibrant economy here in Southwest Connecticut. Uh, Greenwich uh, is hosting this to really showcase the fact that not only are we uh, the hedge fund capital in the U.S., uh, you know, alongside New York and I believe L.A., but we have a significant interest here in private equity and other areas that needed to be boosted and needed to be spotlighted. So the idea for the forum was to really take a hard look, what is our intellectual capital, um, how can we promote it and show that they're a vibrant aspect of Connecticut's overall economy. Hmm. And so um, we do have challenges in Connecticut, clearly they were talked about in terms of legacy costs, in terms of revitalizing our urban areas, looking at education uh, achievement in their inner hmm. cities, and I think the overall consensus I took away is that we can harness these resources from the private and corporate and solve some of these uh, uh, social or public challenges in education. Through public private partnerships. Correct. I mean, and then this forum is a great example of that, of, of all those mechanisms that work. And GEF is, is, is providing an, an, an enormous uh, um, echo chamber, if you will, for, for that advocacy. Um, what were some of you, what were some of your your favorite talking points from yesterday from some of the other panels? I personally found a great inspiration in hearing Paul Tudor Jones talk about how we can harness the uh, private capital to solve some of our country's issues, and I think that frank and candid discussion with people who have put themselves out there for their uh, talent, assume the risk, uh, can also be used to help those who are less fortunate. And I think that really, to me, is one of the highlights in trying to close this gap between you know, the have and have nots, but also politically those who want to overturn capitalism and say capitalism is evil and, and those advocating for socialism. Really, this is a celebration of capitalism, but uh, capitalism with a purpose and a cause. And I think that's the message I took away from that discussion that I found the most uplifting. You know, Nolan Finley from NPR uh, coins it as civility. And uh, it's important. Uh, po Pollock's today is, is, is getting to the point that it's become so polarized on both sides that, uh, um, that we got to find a middle ground because we all go to the same ball games together. We all do the same stuff together. But from an economic development standpoint, we're all working together. Um, getting back to the development, this event, I look around, we cover the World Economic Forum, you look around at the people that are in, in the main room, the main hall and stuff, I see a lot of familiar faces at the World, from the World, World Economic Forum. And they have descended here to Greenwich. And you've, you have played a, a large, proactive role in putting this event together. Tell us about what you had to go through in order to... to, to, to so we began about three years ago um, with the whole idea that we wanted to showcase the value of the financial services to not only Greenwich but to the greater region, Connecticut, and we approached Ray Dalio, who has been a wonderful uh, citizen to Greenwich, and presented his, the idea to him and asked for his support. And he did ask us, you know, like, why do you want to do this? What do you hope to accomplish with it? And after a few minutes, he's like, okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do to help you. And I think with his endorsement and support, we were able to really launch the first one. I don't think without him, we would have had the success we did. And I think he's been able to attract, like a, draw like a magnet, so many diverse, talented speakers. And it's really enhanced, I think, the overall image, not just of Greenwich, Connecticut, but also for the state of Connecticut in our area. Yeah, Reed Alley is he's pretty a, a magnetic figure here for, for the Greenwich area. Uh, his name comes up in almost every social circle and in every discussion about economic development area. What, how big of a role has he played for the community? 
Well, he's been very uh, civically minded. Every year he um, supports a Greenwich Town party. It's been about nine years, uh, and that's a big music celebration. Uh, he firmly believes that music brings people together. Mm. It's a uh, model that has taken place in communities in Spain where his wife is from. Mm. And it really has changed the dynamic here because it you know, brings together your uh, investment people, your your trades people, yeah. your service people all together on one day to celebrate life, music, the town. And I think he's carried forth that philosophy in his life and business. And I think that's certainly helped Greenwich. And we're very blessed that he lives here because he's been a very supportive citizen of Greenwich. You know, him and uh, and uh, um, uh, one of his uh, his um, one of his partners, Ray Rivers, who, who I've actually known for for over a decade, uh, and I, I bumped into him here. He's he's a delightful man as well. He is. He's got a lot of energy, a real appreciation for jazz music, and uh, an integral part of the festival as well. So. Um, we're very blessed that he chose to endorse this and give us the start and I think now it's really taken on uh, a life of its own and I'm looking forward to next year's uh, where we look to really try to expand and incorporate different spheres of, of uh, interests. I think uh, art and culture is going to be a big part of what we try to bring into it. Uh, we, we have the social responsibility component but perhaps expanding on that uh, would be inviting for people. Well, it's welcoming for, for every, I mean, corporate social responsibility. That is, that's the new hot topic, right? That's the, yeah. new, the new big thing, sustainability. Well, listen, I know you're being pulled in a bunch of different directions. Um, what's next for you, Peter? Well, I'm looking forward to uh, harnessing my experience over the 12 years and really support uh, ongoing economic interests um, in our town, in, in our state, and apply that uh, mission-driven way. So I'm looking forward to a challenge and uh, success with it. I can't imagine a, a better person at work doing that, to be honest with you. So, uh, listen, congratulations on all your sex. Thank no, you so pleasure's much. all mine. Uh, Peter Tessi, uh, the first select, longest running mayor in Greenwich history. Um, thanks again for coming on the show. We'll be right back after these messages. Uh, special thanks out to our affiliate network partners, ABC, NBC, Fox, and CBS. We'll be right back with another guest. Don't go away. The 2019 Greenwich Economic Forum is brought to you by. Bridgewater Associates. Meaningful work, meaningful relationships. Churchill Asset Management, Nuveen, a leading provider of senior and uni trench debt to middle market companies. Ropes and Gray, bright past, brilliant future. Aurora Capital, inspiring partnerships. And Gramercy Funds Management, we are emerging markets. Special considerations to Bank of America, Life's better when we are connected. NOAA Private Wealth Management, a leading wealth and asset management service provider in China. Gotai Jinan Futures, a leading brokerage firm for commodity futures and financial futures in China. China Industrial Securities, a comprehensive financial group providing full spectrum financial services in Hong Kong. And Titan Advisors, built like a hedge fund. Special thanks to the Financial Times, 